Welcome back to Captain Comic, and welcome to the level known as the computer. All new enemies here, specifically the Sparks, Atoms, and FW Brothers. FW apparently stands for Fireworks, but that still doesn't really explain anything. You'll get a better sense here of what I was talking about when I said the teleport wand was a bit unpredictable. I use it a lot in this level, and a lot of times it simply doesn't take me anywhere. It is very handy throughout the level though, especially with all the dead ends I keep walking into. A much needed shield gets me back to one life, taking me out of that precarious state where a single mistake could send me all the way back to the start of the game. Interesting to note here that the random placement of enemies has caused an atom to appear in a place where it poses no possible threat. The sparks and atoms suggest that Comic may have shrunk down to get inside the computer, but maybe the computer is scaled up. Neither option makes a lot of sense. These jumps aren't actually that difficult, I just like teleporting. It's unfortunate that I let myself get hit just now, as I don't get the most value from that shield, but I do earn an extra life through points anyway. This level, like the last, is very interesting visually, and I feel it's a bit of a shame that it's the less interesting woods and seaside zones that most players will see most often. Teleporting is probably not even worthwhile here, but once I start using it, I kind of want to do it all the time. And it certainly comes in handy on occasion. Here we see our next item, the lantern. It's not going to be obvious what we need it for, since it's a passive effect and you only really notice it if you need it and don't have it, but I'll talk about that a bit more later. For now, this familiar scenery gives us a hint as to where we're going next. Yes, it's back to the woods, 